Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back and I just want to do a quick review on this wonderful homeschool resource, Lakeshore Learning's Feel and Discover Science Bag um, with the Ocean Habitat. Stay tuned. So I picked this up, as you saw from my previous video, from Lakeshore Learning for only $4.49. It was at the $5 and below counter. And um, this thing came right in time in the middle of our um, under the sea unit study. And it's for ages three plus. So it was perfect for all of my kids. And um, let me show you three ways that I use this one um, activity that was less than $5. So pretty much you have your ocean bag. I love that everything is compartmentalized in here. You can't lose anything. It's 10 cards and 10 animal figurines. Comes with instructions. And this is how I used it. So step one, or the way that they you know, expect you to use it, is simply you lay the cards out for the kids, all 10 of them. And then they expect the kids to do, you know, a simple matching, kind of like a Montessori type matching um, card store activity. So you'll say, well, where's the octopus, octopus? Where's the crab? Things of that nature. So that is one way that you can do it. It's very hands-on. They get to explore the animals. They get to touch and feel them. You flip it over. You get to read to them the different aspects of each animal. And that is a whole um day of, of scientific learning all by itself and this would be probably just for your three-year-olds it says it starts at three this would be what you would do with a three-year-old very simple the next thing that you could do with this are is and the, the kids love this one is simply keep your cards out but you want to do is you keep your animals in the bag all right this is probably a little bit more advanced um, for a kid who is able to actually, you know, take the time to figure out by feel and touch only what the animal is. So what I did is I pretty much kept the bag pretty much closed off so that all they can fit in here is their hand and they can't peek. So we would take turns and I said pull out one animal and pull out one animal but don't pull all the way out. Um, what you do is you feel the animal and you determine what animal it is and by uh, sensorial um, and by using their senses they were able to determine if it was what oh what is this I think it's a manta ray you're right okay so you can do that for each animal until they get all of them so that's another way that you can use this activity for my six-year-old, he simply was just caught up in the facts. So what I did for him is I didn't even, you know, after we got past the pictures, because he was more into the, the details and the definitions and the, and the um, habitat and all the characteristics of each animal, is that we would just simply sit here and read them. Um, and for him, this was huge because he loved that. So along with these, he would match them up and then we would take the time to really learn about each animal. And hey, the manta ray has two fins next to its head. We were able to look, touch, feel, investigate, check out the details of each animal. And um, manta rays swim by flapping their large, powerful fins like wings. They can jump out of the water and land with a big splash they can grow up to 30 feet wide that's as big as a classroom so for him he was more interested in the details and the specifics of each animal so that's that's a third way that you can do it and hey I'm actually coming up with the fourth way so the last way that you can do it is and they love this one as well is that I put one animal in the bag at a time 
one animal at a time and they were able to touch and feel that one. So I think that's better for your younger kid instead of using all the animals for the touch and feel. You can definitely do one at a time. So if you only have one at a time, ask them, what do you think it is? And they'll feel around without looking at it like, oh, I think it's an elephant seal. Okay. And so that's how you can use them. But one last thing that I did with just the figurines alone is I made a sensory bin. So there you have it. There's a, a variety of ways that you can do it. Sensory bin, and I made it with water beads, and they had a good time with just the animals alone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, quick review and video of how to use the Lakeshore Learning's Feel and Discover Science Bag, the Ocean Habitats theme. Less than $5 I got this for, and as you can see, I came up with four to five different concepts of ways that you can actually use this for kids ages three and up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.